Hello YouTube, how's it going? Double Nine at Iron Legend here and welcome back to another video. So as you can see from the title of this video, unfortunately this is probably going to be a rather disappointing video. As you may or may not know, but there's a new law that's hitting YouTube called COPPA. And I'm not going to go into this too much because I do not want to risk seeing the seen an incorrect thing about it so if you want to know more about Kappa and what it does and how it's gonna affect YouTube I'll link some links down below if you want to read more into it so I'll generally just say that the main point of it is you, content creators on YouTube now have to split their video or their content into now meant for kids or not meant for kids and as of right now it's pretty vague on what that means and I would just say the main point of this video is me saying that it's more than likely gonna hit my channel pretty hard and probably gonna be the end of it if, if this COPPA does make it through as they're currently um, getting feedback from the general public about about it so and I believe we have till the 7th of December until we officially will know if it it's gonna be a thing on YouTube so I guess all we can do is hope for the best but if it does hit it's gonna start on January 1st and unfortunately that's probably gonna be the end of my channel because I'll quickly get into that so my channel, like so many others out there, I would say is kind of in a gray area, kind of like an in-between, because I just want to say, like, unfortunately, I can't label my video as either, because for my channel, I make videos for kind of like a, for everyone, so it's not just meant for younger audiences, or nor is it just meant for older audiences I want to try and make content that's clean and so that anyone can watch it now here's the thing see if I did clean out my channel so it's this NHL video so it's easier to give it the cake content um, the bad thing about that is it's pretty much burying your own grave at the same time cuz all the features you're gonna lose and it's just gonna bury your channel so again I don't even want to say the wrong thing here but I believe if you do make your channel meant for kids there's some pretty big things you're gonna end up losing such as ratings on a video are gonna go away um, you can't get notifications comments will be gone your video won't be recommended you won't be able to find it in the search bar like it's pretty crazy like even if it's not a big deal to me because for me YouTube's been more of a hobby these days because I was already stripped from monetization long ago so but I seen that people on kid friendly content since they won't be able to have personalized ads anymore they're gonna be losing up to 90% of revenue so that's just pretty bizarre um yeah and the thing is too I'm not gonna mark my channel on the other hand as not meant for kids cuz then I could get begin myself into lots of trouble there cuz it's not true so right now what the act what the law says for COPPA it says for the most part I believe it's like meant for kids is the years 13 and under for but I think that also depends on where you live as I guess the law could be different for age groups in other countries or other places around the world but yeah so anything that's meant for kids can be from animation gaming and just so much more and it could be from stuff like your YouTube title your description your thumbnails like your actual like video what's in the video like it depends on stuff like colors it depends on stuff like characters games like is this 
is this stuff gonna be like attractive to younger audiences so even if but from what I've gone from other videos and articles so it doesn't even matter like say if you like um I guess have a bit more adult stuff like you maybe you're swearing or something in a video it's not gonna matter if there's still stuff on your video that's gonna attract a kid so no that might not seem all that bad oh maybe it's just a copyright no unfortunately it's COPPA is going to be very strict about this so say if they do find an offense on your channel it could be a fine of upwards to $42,000 and that's per video too so for someone like me which even then I'm still not even that bad but on my channel I have like 1600 videos at least so if you just kind of see the picture there say if like half of my videos got found that I didn't label them properly then yeah that wouldn't be fun time for me so yeah so this whole COPPA thing if it does go through it's just kind of scared me away like I do not have the money to pay off something like that or even to just in general pay for a lawyer I do not have money for that and it's just yeah it's very unfortunate and I'm hoping this doesn't actually hit YouTube but if it does then yeah unfortunately I'm gonna probably have to close my channel down but I was just saying to myself like my channel honestly probably won't be running too much longer because even around this time of year I could very well be starting my career job so I wouldn't be having time to create videos in the first place but never in a hundred years did I want something like this to force me to the end of my channel like I wanted to at least get through everything I wanted to and give you guys a proper ending to my channel but yeah if this hits it's not I'm not a very happy person but I am trying to think of the alternative like I do not want to end like I just said, I do not want it to end that way. So I'm trying to think of alternatives. Like how to continue to upload my content. So as you may or may not know, I already got social media accounts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Everything will be linked in the description if you want to go find them. I'm definitely the most active on Twitter, but... Unfortunately, yeah, I can't upload to there, but what I was planning on doing is I'm already probably going to see if I could start backing up all my, well, at least my current videos on my Facebook account because I believe you could upload full-length videos there. And I'm also, when the games start hitting for at least the custom league and like my Austin Cobras, series and I've also got another playoff series going that as you may seen that I'm gonna start so yeah I'm gonna also put highlight packages of those games on my Instagram account so if you want to follow there and another thing I have is a twitch account now I haven't used it in years <laughs> the last time I used it was when I was still streaming straight from my Xbox so yeah it's been a while but so I might try and do that again too if it's possible I think it'd be pretty neat to watch the games live with fans that could be a cool interaction type of thing that just depends whether or not I could get my setup going so the what reason why I'm saying that is because I don't have a conventional setup so my setup is literally right now it's I've got but three laptops and a Microsoft Surface tablet so yeah it's only if I could get that to work I believe I should be able to because I have my main computer which is obviously where I record everything because it's the most powerful and I would probably just have to capture a PC screen and just give you a video playback of the edited videos so that might be possible it just depends if I again if I could also get a good upload speed to yeah, give you a nice quality for streaming as well. So, 
yeah so next couple of months that's definitely something i'm going to be working on because i want to keep content going and i don't want to just end it like that because i know you guys are so excited for my nhl 20 videos to start so yeah so once again i apologize and uh, this is just a very disappointing thing that's gonna be happening like it wouldn't shock me if coppa does go through if it's pretty much the end of youtube like at least for gamers animators like anything that can be related to gaming which or sorry not just gaming but anything that could be related to kids it's just i don't see many people wanting to continue and risk coppa because i know i'm not the only one that's scared about this like it's crazy like the offense that you can be um facing if you make an error on your account and that's the thing i for me i could probably label it as either not meant for kids or meant for kids but at the end of the day it sounds like it's going to be the fdc who's made this agreement with youtube it sounds like it's going to be an opinion based thing like if they find anything that's either way like they're not gonna they're not gonna hold back in hurting your channel or just hurting you in general like it's crazy so yeah i hope i explained all i had to do and again a anything that it's important i'll have linked down in the description so if you want to read more into kappa or just in general what i'm planning to do with my channel then yeah it'll be down in the description so be sure to check that out yeah and yeah i'll try to be starting now i'll try to be more active on my all my social media platforms but I don't know if I, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I'm definitely the most active on Twitter. So if you want to give me a follow there, then I'll try to be keeping you up to date as much as possible. Yeah, so again, I'm sorry for if this is, I'm very sorry if this is the end. And I'm really hoping it's not, but anyways. I guess, yeah, I'm fully committed to use my channel up until January 1st at the very last, but come January 1st, if COP is officially a thing, just be aware that my channel is not going to, I don't think I'm going to delete my channel because if there are people who still want to risk using YouTube, I'll probably keep my YouTube account just to, I guess, continue following them and supporting them that way. But my channel, it won't have anything on it anymore. So, yeah, just be prepared. So if you want to save videos, I'd probably start doing that now. <laughs> so I'm going to try and, like I said, I'm going to try and back up as much as possible on my Facebook account if that's possible. So yeah so again kind of a bummer but unfortunately i'm just not someone who wants to take this risk it's just not ideal for me especially someone who's trying to get into like well like i'm in my second year of school now and by this time next year i'll be finished like i don't have many that many classes left so like i can't risk have to deal with any of this legal stuff so yeah until next time i hope you guys do enjoy the upcoming nhl series so i do have the nhl 20 custom league that's going to be continuing my custom austin cobras team that's going to be running and i also have a special playoffs nhl playoff series coming so um I guess before I end this video, I'll quickly explain why I th think you all know what's going to happen for the NHL 20 Custom League. But as usual, I probably have planned two, at least two home games for each team. One wearing their 
right their home jersey their home opener and a second one to show off their alternates and, and after that it's going to be the typical sim to the playoffs and we'll go from there Austin Cobras of course we're just going to play through a season with my custom team so nothing really to explain there but this playoff series which is something I wanted to do it's going to start with the Vancouver Canucks also known as my favorite team of course being from Vancouver so um, yeah so I'm going to start with Vancouver and we're going to go through play the playoffs so with some nice custom uniforms and some custom music and stuff like that so we'll go as long don't worry I'm not ragging it to win so let's say if there's a possibility we could get sweet unfortunately it's gonna happen in some probably because I'm it's sometimes it's tough being a goalie in that game well anyways so though the Vancouver Canucks aren't the only team I'm gonna be using in that series so say after the Canucks series is done we'll move on to the next team and the next teams after Vancouver that I'm thinking of they are also my backup favorite team so that would be the New York Islanders Philadelphia Flyers and LA Kings so it will probably be one of those three teams there after the Vancouver Canucks but I'm hoping to get into as many teams as possible and I'll get your general feedback on which team you want to have play next so yeah hopefully there is hopefully there is a bright side to all of this and hopefully we'll continue I'll be able to continue to make content for all of you guys and girls so yeah until next time YouTube I'll see you in the next video bye